I have very mixed thoughts about George Galloway. Uh, on the one hand, I think he is a passionate, inspired and brilliant speaker. Uh, I love his analysis. I don't agree with it, but I love what he does. And I love his rhetoric and his fluency and his brilliance, his, his wit, his, um, his humour. I, I, I love all of that. I just don't agree with him. And I, and I vehemently don't agree with him. But I think it's a really good thing that he's back in Parliament. I also think it's a good thing for Rochdale. Rochdale, which has for so long been overshadowed by such, um, by, by, by such darkness. Um, you know, when you go through Rochdale, um, I, I remember being shown a, show, 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 shown a building and being told, oh, that's the building that Hitler wanted. Um, well, you, you know, probably not true. Uh, but that's very dark, isn't it? Uh, it's better than saying, "Oh, we were the we were the seat of the late MP Cyril Smith, um, who 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 was identified as a, as an abuser, or the uh, grooming gangs, the um, the local grooming gangs." Appalling. I mean, that's not the sort of reputation any town or any community wants. But to be the town that brought George Galloway, Galloway back into Parliament, I think that's an achievement. Uh, I'm told, you know, uh, Galloway, Workers' Party of Britain, that he's the anti-Zionist candidate. And I think that that concept needs some unpicking. I'll do so in a, in a later video, I think. But um, uh, to be outspoken against um, against Netanyahu is not necessarily to be anti-Zionist and I think the word Zionist is bandied around rather hastily um, and as I say I think it's something that we need to unpick uh, as I think equally we need to be very careful about the way that George Galloway um, rails against the Labour Party which was the party that made him um, as for giving a voice to those people who protest against the Gaza war, I think that's a noble thing. Um, there, uh, I think, um, 20% 20, 20 of Rochdale is of South Asian descent. Um, and there's a, th th there's a very strong... Uh, Labour Labour vote uh, among the disillusioned white voters as well. Um, I think there was a choice in Rochdale between two populist candidates, Simon Danjuk and George Galloway, and it's disappointing that there wasn't a proper Labour uh, candidate. Um, but But when you've got two parties... The Labour Party, which fielded a candidate who was then um, suspended, uh, sort of rejected because of his anti-Muslim, uh, anti-Jewish anti, anti comments. And Guy Oten, the Green candidate who was suspended for his anti-Muslim comments. Guy, Guy Oten said that the Quran was full of war, slaughter, rape and pillage with genocide and slavery not fit for the 21st century. Um, it, it just a misunderstanding and a and perpetuating sort of rubbish. Utter, utter rubbish. No women candidates at all. I mean, what sort of election was this? The election should have been called off when when two of the main parties had to suspend their candidates. That was the way forward, to call off the election, to, to um, delay it for another two or three weeks. That was the, that, that was the right uh, thing for a, um, for a democracy to do. But we don't, we don't do the right thing anymore. We do what has been established. We, we, we are ruled by diktat rather than by conscience and what is right.
because it wasn't right to push that election forward once the Labour candidate had been suspended. Uh, and, and I think the fact that the, that the Green candidate has also been suspended, that made this election a nonsense. Um, Azar Ali, you know, you can't defend the stuff that he was saying. And um, his his comments are just are, are, are simply wrong. And they betray an inability to draw a distinction between uh, those people governing Israel at the moment, people like Netanyahu, and, quote, the Jews. That is, that is racist, it's anti-Semitic, and it's wrong. And we, we, may, we may have a gripe with Mr Netanyahu. We may think he's absolutely appalling. I do. Um, but first of all, I'm a great supporter of Israel as a concept. And secondly, uh, I, I think, um, you know, Judaism has given us so many, so many um, great things. Uh, it, it is so central to our modern civilization. And, uh, and, and, and on a Shabbos morning, I think it's important to um, to, to recognise that. If uh, if I feel a bit guilty now saying that and making a video um, uh, on Shabbos, and I spent some years some some years teaching in um, the Hasidic community, um, and I, I and and I'm certainly aware of my. Um, Jewish roots as well um, and I, uh, I, I I think I think um, I think uh, we are wrong we are wrong as a society if we condone the sort of nonsense peddled um, by as our ally and by people like him who cannot draw a distinction, um, who whose sloganizing gets in the way of common sense. In the same way, we are a society that is extraordinarily dependent on the wonderful um, discoveries and advances made in the early part of the Muslim period by the caliphate in Baghdad, uh, it's to it, it, it's to the, the the scholarship and the vision of that time that we owe our our modern mathematics, and um, when we talk about Arabic numerals, we're not really talking about Arabic numerals. We're talking about the people, the um, the caliphate that ordered the collection of uh, texts to be translated into the common language, which was Arabic. And, and it, was the, it was the caliphate, effectively, that combined Greek and Indian mathematics, what today we call mathematics. And so much of our maths language is dominated by Arabic, algebra, algorithm. Remember Liz Truss going on about algorithms. That was one of the points where hands were were at her were at their most wild. Um, but it's, this, I think this will be seen as an important election, and I think to to eclipse all the problems from the past uh, by the spectacular achievement of getting George Galloway back into Parliament. Whether you like him or not, having George Galloway, having having somebody back in Parliament of that calibre of politician is a positive. Whether he's supporting the Labour Party or just making a noise like a mad dog in the background doesn't matter. Um, we we should be we, we should have a voice. We should have a voice in Parliament. To, to call out to stop the war, 
in Gaza. I think that's a good thing, and that represents our our society. Um, and whether whether he has um, an an actual impact on the on the voting of Parliament, I have no idea. But he will have an impact on the rhetoric in Parliament, and that can only be for the good. And so I, I'm grateful to Rochdale today.